Hi, I'm Diane from LaunchDarkly, and today I'm going to show you how to build a kill switch flag using LaunchDarkly. So imagine that you had a bad weekend because your app started slowing down due to a spike in traffic, which is a great problem to have, but now your weekend is ruined. So I think you should use kill switches because if you use a kill switch, you're able to turn on and off a service that is failing without ever having to touch the code. So kill switches are used to stop any endpoints, services, or external calls, basically anything risky without rolling back your entire app. Okay, so I'm going to use LaunchDarkly to create a kill switch flag for my project. I'm gonna click on the blue create flag button and I'm gonna name it show avatars and rex. It's gonna be a pretty simple flag. If flag is on, make calls to third party API. If flag is off, stop all calls. And then I'm going to click on kill switch. And it's pretty nifty because everything is pre-configured for me. I don't have to specify that it's a Boolean or write anything in the variations. I'm ready to click create flag and start using it in my project. So here's a dashboard. And all you have to do is look at this key right here. You can conveniently click it and copy it into your code. So in this code, you're going to make sure that you change the name of the flag key, show avatars and rec, and then you're going to configure the launch directly client in your main Python file. So in this file, you're going to make sure that you're gonna initialize the launch directly client and set the SDK key to your environment variable that helps with following best security practices and making sure that no one else touches your SDK key without your permission. After you initialize the client and make sure the key is set, you're going to create an index route. The show avatar variable is going to retrieve a value from the launch directly client. In the dashboard or in the SDK CLI, you're going to determine if the flag is on or off. If the flag is on, the avatar URL is going to retrieve a random URL from the cats API and it's going to make sure that the recommendations are true and that we can see personalized recommendations on your profile. If the if for some reason the flag is off, we're gonna fall back to this URL here, which is a predetermined photo on your profile. We're gonna generate the feed and we're going to make sure everything is passed to the index file. And yeah, let's see this in action. You can also copy and paste this code from our GitHub. So now that you've put your kill switch flag into the code, we're going to go back to the launch darkly dashboard and turn the flag on. All you have to do is click on this little on toggle button, click on review and save. Everything is good to go. Oh, so we're going to click save changes and instantly go to your social media feed and boom, everything is there. So that was so fast, so easy. You can see everything that your friends are saying and see everyone's unique profile image that was taken from the third party API. But wait, you said that the servers are slowing down because there's a spike in traffic. Let's save our resources and turn the flag off. Notice that you don't need to have a technical background in order to turn it off. All you have to do is go back to the dashboard, click on the off button, save it, say, oh no, something's wrong save changes, and instantly, there are no longer any calls to the third-party API. So it's very fast, convenient, anyone can help out on the team, and no one has to ruin their weekends again. So kill switches allow you to degrade your app gracefully during a traffic spike. So congratulations, instead of redeploying a previous version of your app like you might have done in the past, you were able to promote peace of mind during uh, anxiety-inducing launch time. If you want to learn more about building with kill switches or launch darkly, you can check out the blog for copy and pasteable code. Everything here is found on GitHub, so you can copy and paste it and try it out on your own local machine. If you like this video, make sure you click on the subscribe button to follow for more tips and tricks. Also follow our social media for more little clips on how you can save your app with launch darkly. See you next time.